You boys ever wondered what this little symbol thing is in the middle of the glorious Palaloian eagle? Wait, hold on. Uh, wrong eagle. I like this one because it reminds me of how garbage R became at this time period. The little thing in the middle is a monogram. It sort of is like a small sigil dedicated to a noble's family or their name. And they love to stick them in a lot of places. Sort of like a uh, classical or medieval trademark. You can find them everywhere in coins, rings, seals, or even buildings such as the Hagia Sophia. For example, you've all seen this church, right? Well, you might have even seen this column. Or this one. Hell, maybe even this column here. But have you noticed these little intricate carvings? Right. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Stop, stop, stop. Here is a monogram. Might be a bit tough for you to look at, so let me draw it up real quick. I'll give you a bit to think about what this one says. Well, boys, this monogram here is actually the famous Albanian, pure Illyrian-blooded Justinian the Great. How I know this? Good point. I really don't. I just found something cool online and wanted to share it, while also understanding monograms better myself. Here, I'll even break it down for you. I, O and Y, C, T, A, and N. Hang on. That only spells your stun instead of his full name of Justinianos. The thing is, we already have all his letters. They just need to be doubled up to finish his name. Remember guys, these are just Latinized monograms, and you boys gotta remember that the Empire was bilingual for a long time, even after Heraclius changed the official language. Like, C in this case means the Greek Sigma, and the letter V is an Upsilon. But, this does not mean that there were no Greek letters at all, as we see later on that there are. So, if that's a bit confusing, don't worry, we are in for more. Here is Justinian's beautiful and presumably promiscuous wife, Theodora. A bit confusing, but I'll break it down again. T and H, E, O, D, Omega, Rho, A, and Sigma. Spelling, Theodora. Mind you, this time with a lot more Greek in it. Here is another one. This is hella easy for me because I'm the one with the answers in front of me, but see if you can guess this. I'll read it out loud and you combine with what you have learnt. B, A, C, remember the Sigma rule from before? I, L, E, O, and H. Oh my days, did you get it? If you don't have it yet, maybe try adding an S to the end as the letters double up and think about it for a bit because I've been patient enough with your slow asses. This shit is becoming way too much like Dora the Conquistador and Explorer. Alright, now back to the Palaeologian Eagle. This monogram here is actually way more simpler than the monogram shown before simply because it does not spell out the full word or name but rather is an abbreviation. There are four letters here, B, Alpha, Lamva, Ke, Gamma and the barbarian equivalent of P-A-L and G, short for Palelogos. That's it, video over, you can go home. You have now learnt what the famous monogram is, but hold on man, come back, I was joking. Oh, no dude, please come back. Aw, oh, thanks. These monograms were not only limited to buildings and eagles, they were also on rings, leads, and the big one, seals. Considering how much people used to write letters back then, you would have to seal them up and then stamp them. So why not advertise your own prestige and name with a custom seal? Here's mine. The limited edition marble porphyry seal. Oh, look at the tasteful thickness of it. Yeah, you are right. I should probably just stick to the original seal. The money maker. Or as all the girls say, a face only a mother could love. That's a compliment, right guys? Yeah. There were also these kind of cruciform type monograms like this, which followed, as the name suggests, a cruciform pattern scheme. These would be shown on documents or coin, and an example I can show you is this Anastasius coin. Anastasius also had another coin minted with one of the old monograms which looked like this. Pretty neat right? See if you can break it down and spell it out. Anyway, those were the really two main types of monograms and I wanted to make a quick video on them. I need to get back to being a gremlin and looking at monograms and other Byzantine artifacts. See ya boys.